you guys. Columbia take an early morning walk. A short time I can see basically hundreds of different plants, uh, different trees. It's just crazy. I'll let you guys see the view. about 7 30 in the morning here beautiful view and uh this morning i'm going to talk about is i'm going to talk about today is the most likely way you're going to get robbed in colombia and <laughs> that's with with money and not um i'm gonna tell you about the ways i already love how the clouds always are coming over the mountains you can tell when it's gonna rain because it, they're more dark but uh one of the number one ways to get robbed is the atm with the conversion rate because with the conversion rate if you accept it, I remember I think I was taking out $200. I thought they got me and I calculated everything. I probably would have paid about $13 just to do ATM transaction. I want you guys to see something. I'm going off the path, how they are so creative with their gardens. These tires, they repainted and used as like a well decoration for their uh, plants. It's really cool. <laughs> so, another way, um, another way that they'll get you guys is uh, early and everybody's out. And about, so, <laughs> And you don't really get too much privacy. But um, the air com port conversions are horrible. Um, sometimes 400, 500 pesos. If something's like, uh, right uh, right now, it's, I don't know how crazy it is because the dollar is so high. But uh, you can lose a lot of money doing conversion in money houses or other places um best way to do it atm if you do the atm the atm is going to give you uh pretty much the rate minus a little not calculated but the best way is if you know somebody to send them a money to uh through Remitly. And I'll have a link in the description because you can get $25 off if it's your first time. I promise you it's the best way. Hey, you won't be sorry. That's how I've uh, sent it. It just goes to Bank Columbia. We can pick up the money. And it's it's really cheap. The other, the other way that you get robbed is when uh, some places, this happened to me in the airport, and the tip was optional and they put the tip on there anyways so i was not happy about that because i was gonna tip anyway so of course i didn't after decided to put it on there the other thing guys is this i don't know if this is like new or if people have caught on to it but what they're doing is actually um, when you pay with a 50, it's a 50 mil bill or a hundred mil. They're shortened. Um, there's a lot of places because it happened twice in one week is when I figured it's, it's something that's not new. It's, it's a way to get you. <laughs> and so you, uh, when you pay with one of those bills, you're going to shortchange you because 
when you say, oh, you shortchanged me, they're like, oh, sorry, sorry. But no, it's another way to get you. So you don't wanna get, get got with that one because it's real slick. And uh, yeah, it happened twice. Me and my wife, and she wasn't paying attention, and uh, they almost almost got us. But the first time I was on it, I was like, I only got 50s, and then she she got caught in a lie because I was like, she's like, I don't got any 50s in here. I was like, I only got 50s. I pulled 50 50 mil bills out of my pocket. So, you know, we'll just not go to those places anymore. And the last thing is about the uh, the gringo tax that many people have talked about. I'm not even going to talk about people coming and getting robbed because they want drugs and prostitutes. <laughs> that happens everywhere. And I think some of these things happen everywhere too because <laughs> you definitely get killed at the uh, Las Vegas uh, ATMs. Definitely get robbed by the the escorts and prostitutes so this is something that's not really new i went with my wife's family uh my wife's aunt's boyfriend and and we went to this restaurant and ordered something and he told them i was american if you get a chance don't talk guys just don't talk it's just not worth it I want to show you this beautiful river. Um, this isn't one of the rivers you can swim in. Uh, but just, it's so beautiful. It doesn't even smell or nothing. But yeah, at the restaurant, the guy, when he finishes with everything, for seven people, I could see 80 mil pesos. Basically, it's uh, about $20. But he, whatever it was, he doubled it and said, doscientos mil. I was like, doscientos mil? <clears throat> wasn't my first time. I've been here for a while. No, I, I knew the prices weren't that. But he stuck to his story and I'm looking at <laughs> my, my wife's uh, uh, aunt's boyfriend, like, you gonna let this happen? And he just kind of looked at me. I was like, okay. I'll never ever go back to that place again. Never. So, yeah, they got me, but you know what? I've been here a year and I'll never receive another dollar. And there's places that I've gone through, gone to uh, a lot. So it's better if anybody knows uh, because Americans tip to to not be trying to charge a gringo tax because more than likely you'll get a tip if your service is good and you'll get repeat business. Especially, you know, if the channel ever blows up. So guys, I wanna get off here and make sure you check me out. Um, you like and subscribe. We need some uh, more engagement on the channel uh, because we're pretty much getting about five people engaging in the channel so yeah if you want to see some more uh videos i gotta gotta make a living out here it's not easy as you can see i'm on i don't know which video i'm gonna post first but these bamboos i love these bamboo trees they do so much building houses and stuff for them there is everywhere um yeah but um uh not sure which video I'm gonna post first, but definitely uh, you're gonna see why. I'm trying to make a living this way, um, YouTube, I enjoy it, and and hope that people get out and travel and uh, get some other options in life. One last thing, guys. Uh, being a YouTuber, you gotta take some risk with with your camera, but don't do it late at night by yourself because that is the easiest way for people to get you everybody knows at night uh, there's people riding around on bikes looking for people and it's just not a good look and 
Um, most of the time, if you play it safe, just as in the United States, I mean, I've seen people get robbed in Vegas right in front of my face <laughs> in a line waiting for a taxi cab. It's crazy. So you got to really uh, be, be safe no matter where you are. Uh, so that's my last uh, advice for you for the day. Hope you have a great day. All right, take care. God bless. And another thing, try not to step in poop when you're filming. Ah.